Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this beautiful ruana or blanket shawl. This ruana is crocheted vertically in long stripes and as you can see there are two different repeating patterns. The first pattern is what I call the strip, it is 5 rows. The second is the chain link pattern, it is also 5 rows. We will make a border around the shawl. On the sides we will make picots, also on the right side and on the left side. And on the bottom front and back we make simple single crochet and add our tassels. The colors I used are autumn maize for the strips and are alternated between gold ombre and pumpkin for the chain link sequences and I used biscuit for the two rows that you see in the middle of the chain links. I made eight strips and seven chain link sequences. The one in the middle is shorter for some neck space. You can add more strips and chain links to make the shawl wider. My shawl is 40 inches wide. I've made 35 chain links for the entire length of my shawl and the entire length of my shawl is 50 inches. Please pick the length that you would like your shawl to be. Mine will be 50 inches. I have several sizes here from 20 inches very very short and 6 inch increments very very long all the way to 74 inches and if you look my 50 inch shawl will later on have 35 links. The first thing we will be making is the short chain for the strip. I have to make 212 chains so just go across the size you chose the same row and pick the number of chains. I will chain 212 now. If you want to double check how I calculated the short chain, I put the formula on the bottom and I used my numbers as an example. Now let's make the strip. I used the color Autumn Maze for my strip. I will chain my 212 and you make your chain. Also leave your loose end long enough so we can make tassels later on. I leave about 7 inches. I've made 212 chains, start row 1. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chains and into the 6th chain make a double crochet. Chain 1, skip 1, chain, make a double crochet and so on. Chain 1, skip 1 chain, make a double crochet all the way to the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1, skip 1 chain, make a double crochet into the last chain. Let's check if we have made the right number of double crochet. I will have 35 links. Each link will have three doubles with it. So I will count three doubles 35 times. One, two, three the first time. One, two, three the second time. One, two, three the third time. One, two, three the fourth time. I will count three double crochet 35 times. Let's look at the chart and see how many links you have. So to double check, make sure you're in the same row as your length. I will count 3 times 35 and you can count 3 times the number of links that you chose. I counted 35 groups with 3 double crochet so everything is correct. Chain 3 to start row 2 and turn your work. Make a double crochet into the chain space and a double into the double. Double crochet into the chain space. and double crochet into the double and do that until the end of the row. Finish row 2 with a double crochet into the chain space and a double crochet into the 1, 2, 3 into the 4th chain and start row 3. Chain 3 for the double crochet and one more chain for the chain space. Turn your work. Skip over the first double, the second double, go into the third double crochet make a double crochet, chain 1, skip the next stitch, make a double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, make a double crochet and we're basically repeating exactly what we did in row 1. You should have the same amount of double crochet in row 3 as you did in row 1. 
finish row 3 with a chain, skip the double crochet and make a double crochet into the third chain. Start row 4, chain 3, turn your work and now we will repeat row 2 again. Make a double crochet into the chain space, a double crochet into the double crochet, double crochet into the chain space and so on. Double into the double, double into the chain space. Finish row 4 with a double crochet into the chain space and a double crochet into the third chain. And now we will start row 5, which is the same as row 1 and 3. Chain 3 for the double and one more chain for the chain space. Turn your work, skip the first double and the second double and make a double crochet into the third double. Chain 1, skip 1 double, make a double. Chain 1, skip 1 make one double and you have the same amount of double crochet as you did in row 3 and row 1. Finish row 5 with a chain, skip the double crochet and make a double crochet into the third chain and remember to leave the yarn long enough. I pull through one more time and now we can start the chain link. Find your row and go across. I have to make 245 chains for the long chain for the chain link. Please find your number. So that number here gives me the 35 links. That's 35 links for the entire length of the shawl. And here's the formula again with my example. I will chain 245 with the gold ombre and remember to leave a long enough end for the tassel. Face your strip right side up and make your loose ends face to the right. Take your chain and weave it in. Skip one, two, three doubles between the third and the fourth double. Weave your chain in from the back to the front. Count one, two, three doubles. Weave your chain in from the front to the back. One, two, three doubles. Back to the front. One, two, three doubles. Front to the back. So every chain link has three doubles. So now you have three doubles in the front and three doubles in the back. Skip three chains, one, two, three, and starting in the fourth chain, make four doubles into the next four chains, one, two, three, four. So together with the chain we have five doubles, the chain, and then four doubles, one, two, three, four chain 2 and now we will cross over to the front. We will cross over this caramel colored chain. Pull your chain through so you can see your last stitch where the double crochet is. It's right here. Then skip two chains, one, two, and starting in the third chain, make five double crochet into the next five chains. One, two, three, four and five. Now we repeat but we will cross over into the back, chain two and pull your chain through the back so you can see where the stitches from your last double crochet. It's right here. Skip two chains, one, two and into the third chain. Start making five doubles into the next five chains. One, two, three, four, five, chain two. Now we're crossing over again to the front. Pull your chain a little bit. You can see your last stitch. It's right here. Skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the third chain start making the five doubles into the next five chains again. One, two, three, four, Five. And you can repeat that now. Chain two, skip two stitches, pull your chain always to see where the last stitch is. Then skip the next two chains, one, two, and into the third chain. Start making the five doubles in the next five chains. So we have five doubles behind the three doubles, five doubles in front of the three doubles, five doubles behind, five doubles in front, and always three doubles in the front and three doubles in the back. Here 
you can weave in your chain again three doubles in the front three doubles in the back and so on I don't weave my chain all the way because sometimes it gets twisted so I weave it in a little bit and I crochet a little bit I've made the two chains now I cross over to the front skip two chains and in the third chain I start making the five doubles again into the next five chains chain two skip two chains cross over to the back and starting in the third chain make five double crochets into the next five chains and at the end of the row I will have 35 chain links we finish row one the same way we started with three double crochet in front of the five double crochet I pull my yarn one more time through and start row two for row two and four I will use the biscuit color I will chain 245 again so we make in the same chain as in row one place the work right side up again with the loose ends to the right this time we will thread our chain starting from the front front to the back go to the next link back to the front and so on So now we have one link in the front, one link in the back, in the front, in the back. Start row two, skip three chains and starting in the fourth chain, make four double crochet into the next four chains. So including with our chain three that we had in the beginning, we have five double crochet. Chain two, skip two, now we will cross over to the back locate your last double crochet it is right here skip two chains and starting in the third chain make five double crochet into the next five chains one two three four and five chain two cross over to the front locate your last double crochet skip two chains starting in the third chain make five double crochet into the next five chains chain two cross over to the back locate your last double skip two chains starting in the third chain make five double crochet into the next five chains chain two skip two make five doubles in the front chain two skip two make five doubles in the back we end the second row with the five doubles in the front. I made my 245 chains with the gold ombre and that's the start of the third row. Place your work right side up and the two loose ends are facing to the right. This time we will weave the chain from the back to the front. Then front to the back, back to the front and so on. Now we will repeat the same pattern as in row one. Skip three chains and starting in the fourth chain, make four doubles into the next four chains. So we start with our five double crochet again, including the chain. Chain two, skip two, cross over to the front, starting in the third chain, make five double crochet into the next five chains. Chain two, cross over to the back skip two starting in the third chain make five double crochet into the next five chains and so on repeat the same pattern that we made in row one finish row three with the five double crochet in the back row four is the same as row two with the same chain length and the same color thread the chain from the front to the back back to the front front to the back back to the front and repeat the pattern of row two make five doubles in the front five doubles in the back five doubles in the front five doubles in the back with chain two skip two in between so row four is the same as row two finish row four with the five double crochet in the front and start row five our last row use the same colors as in row one and three and make the chain the same length then start weaving it in from the back to the front front to the back 
back to the front and so on. So the first group of five doubles is in the back again, then front, then back, then front with chain two, skip two in between. When you finished row five, leave the work right side up and the tassels of the chain links face to the left. We will repeat the one, two, three, four, five rows of the strip now. We will always weave the chain for the strip from the left to the right. So the double crochet from the strip and the chain links will face us right side up. Let's make the short chain for the strip again. For me that's 212 chains and I use the same color as before. Face your work right side up. The tassels of the chain links are to the left. Weave your chain in from the front to the back, back to the front, front to the back, back to the front and so on. Turn your work over to the wrong side and skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five into the sixth chain. Make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and make a double crochet. And now we have our three double crochets. Remember we work in groups of three. Now we will cross over to the front. Chain one and now skip only one chain. Here's my double crochet. Skip only one chain and repeat the three double crochet. Make the double, chain one, skip one chain, make the second double. Chain one, skip one chain and make the third double into the front. Now we cross over into the back again. Chain one and skip only one chain. Here's my double, skip one chain, make the first double. Chain one, skip one chain, make the second double. Chain one, skip one chain, make the third double. Chain one and skip only one. And then make the three doubles in the front. So we have three doubles in the front, three doubles in the back. And remember we only chain one and skip one in this round. At the end of row one, we have three double crochet in the back. And now you can repeat row two, three, four, and five. And if you're not sure, you can watch the video from that point. And then you can also repeat again the five rows of chain link. One, two, three, four, five rows. So those five rows repeat and those five rows repeat over and over until your shawl is wide enough. Remember to always place your shawl right side up to start any of the sequences. The chain link sequences are weaved from the right to the left and the strip sequences are weaved from the left to the right. And I alternated my colors between gold ombre, pumpkin, gold ombre, pumpkin and row 2 and 4 I used the biscuit. Here's how the shawl looks after the second strip is done and here's how it looks after the second chain link sequence is done. I repeated the chain link pattern three times and you have to start and finish with a strip. So I have one, two, three, four strips and now we will make the back. Find your row, go across. I have to make 126 chains for the back chain link and you choose the number of chains that you have to make. We have to count in groups of three double crochet again to figure out where we have to start weaving in our back chain link. Find your number of links and add one. 35 plus one is 36 for me. Divide that number by two. 36 divided by 2 is 18. I will count 3 double crochets 18 times and I will also make 18 links. Place your work right side up and face the tassels of the strip also to the right side. I have to count in groups of 3 and I have to count 18 groups. 3 doubles, 3 doubles, 3 doubles, 18 times. And now we have to weave our chain. This time we start in the front, front to the back back to the front in groups of three so we match up with the other side. The first group of five doubles is in the front. Weave your chain all the way to the end and as you can see the ends match too. Both groups of five doubles will be in the back. Here we are in the back and on the other side we will be in the back. 
then you can repeat the five rows exactly the same way we did before. Make the five rows. One, two, three, four, five. I made the five rows with the 18 chain links and now we repeat the pattern that we did on this side the same way on the other side. Make your short chain and weave it through front to the back, back to the front, then turn your work over to the wrong side and start with the five rows that we made here. One, two, three, four, five. When you get to the part where you run out of chain links, just continue the pattern all the way to the end of the row. Maybe double check the number of double crochet and now copy exactly what you did before. The strip, the chain links, the strip, the chain links, the same way you did on the other side. I finished my first strip. So as you can see, it's a mirror image on this side. Here's the strip, here's the strip. And now I will start my first chain link sequence and it's a mirror image of this side. So I will make the chain link sequence here the same way I made here. Then a strip, then another chain link sequence, another strip, another chain link sequence and another strip. So whatever I did on this side, the other side is going to look exactly the same. I finished the other side and now we will add tassels to the chain links. We already have tassels on the back and now we will put tassels on all the chain links in the front. Thread your needle and go through all of the three chains and I use the same color as the chain link and that's it. You just cut the yarn the same length and you pull it through the chain of three and in the next round we will crochet over the chain of three and the yarn we just pulled through to make the border. We finished the tassels in the front and now we will make a border around the entire shawl with single crochet. You can start anywhere in the back, face your shawl right side up and we make single crochet all the way around. But on the sides, on the right side and the two edges in the middle and the left side we will also add picots. For the single crochet around the entire shawl, I use the same color that I did for the strip. You can start anywhere in the back and face your work right side up. I start in the corner of my strip, make two single crochet into the chain space. Move to the double crochet and make two singles around that, the entire post. Make two singles into the space and two singles into the double crochet. And two singles into the space. So in this round we make two single crochet around everything. Then when you get to the chain link move your tassel to the back and make two single crochet around the first double crochet. And two singles into the next double crochet of the next chain link. So we move along and make two singles into all of the chain links into the first double crochet. When you get to the strip, repeat the pattern, two singles into the corner space of the strip and two singles around the double crochet and repeat that all the way until you get to the corner. When you get to the corner space, make two single crochet around the chain of five, chain two and then make two more singles around the chain of five. That's our corner. Now we will crochet along the side. Go to your second square, make a single crochet chain three and make a slip stitch into the single crochet those two pieces of yarn. Make a slip stitch that's how it's three chain pico and the second single crochet into the same square and repeat go to the next square single crochet three chain pico make the slip stitch and make a second single crochet into the same square. Go to the next square single crochet Three chain pico and single crochet into the same square and repeat that along the entire side of the shawl. When you get to the next corner, make two single crochet around the chain space and I can crochet around that one single loose end. We just need those tassels so we can crochet around that or you can sew it in. 
chain two, make two singles into the same space. And then we're on the other side, on the front, where we crochet two singles into every or around every double crochet into single crochet into the spaces. Put all the loose ends in the back from the strip and from the chain links and then single crochet around the first double crochet and around the piece of yarn we threaded through. So we will continue with the same stitch pattern, two singles into the first doubles of all the chain links. At the next corner repeat two singles, two chains and two singles into the corner space and then repeat single crochet, picot, single crochet, single crochet, picot, single crochet in all of the squares and this is the inside and we crochet our way towards the neckline now. At the neckline leave two squares empty, one and two and go directly into the chain of the chain link and make three single crochets, not two. We make in three singles, so we have a little bit more space on the neck. Go to the next chain links and make three singles into all the chain links. Then skip two squares and repeat the pattern single crochet, pico, single crochet and now you can repeat the pattern all the way around. Now all that's left to do is the tassels. I split my groups in half and just tie a knot. Leave a little bit of space, about half an inch or so. And that completes our Roana or blanket shawl. I hope you had fun making it and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye! Thank you.